it's Monday again. It's 20 past 8, about 10 minutes from job. Uh, yeah, it's basically every Monday, it doesn't matter if you feel fucking mint or shit, you can still get some stuff done. So, um, yeah, finishing them peaks today on me on. I had to do fucking school run as well. So, you know, a bit extra knackered. Um, so yeah, I'll probably not film today, but I'm just like make an intro. Happy Monday everyone. Well, it's still Monday. Uh, finished them cut-ups. I didn't really get any footage, but you'd see enough of that anyway, so we're on this now. Nice retaining wall. Way around here. Just getting loaded up. I don't know how, it's, how they want it yet, so I'm just waiting for main man to come over. Give me some instruction. Seven hundred brick loaded there. Two course a block and brick for about fifteen course. <sighs> yeah, at least a couple of thousand brick in this. At least <sighs> should be a nice earner, right? It's half four. I'm getting off. Right. See you in the next clip. Thanks a lot, Richard. And get these to use tomorrow on that big wall. Well, the other ones are a bit dense, bit fine, but I'm still using them. But yeah. Fitworktools.com, check, go get your pair, you go get your center pair of fist bricks. You use them every day. They are the tool, the tool, uh, that should always be sat with your lines and pins. They're, they're invaluable for anyone who's got any sense with using a level. Anyone who likes to line brick working using a line, you know. Gone are the days of smashing your, bending your pins, trying to knock it into brickwork. You know, fits bricks. Link in description. So it's Tuesday. It's, uh, it's nine o'clock, minus two. Um, bump a few heavy blocks out. Mel's with me today. Um, to be fair, I should have stayed. I could have just fucking left her in bed because it's fucking freezing. I don't even think we'll be able to do anything today because. Uh, it's fucking, it's one in it, above two, or three, well he said four, but that's never going to happen. Um, so, I'm going to go bump out for a bit, maybe go on, fucking hell, it's a shame. And bump out some of these blocks, probably half an hour, I'll have all these shifted, move the rest of the brakes, melting car, because there's no point in fucking bumping out, because there's only a fucking bit to do. And uh, that's it. Right, I'll see you in the next bit of footage. I already got some footage bumping out yesterday. I'm not going to do it this morning as well. Fuck that. Right, see you in a bit. Oh, I'm going to call it a day. It's probably not going to get cold warm enough till about. It's one he said before I've asked him. Four degrees is one in above, above three. Three and rising. I don't think it's going to get there till at least one. I'm not, I'm not working for fucking two or three hours. No point. Right, I'll see you next, see you tomorrow. So, it's 20 past nine. 
this is what I cleared off from the other day, I cleared all gravel out of the way. So I'm gonna build a return around there. We haven't got any ties. So I've got a we got any ties to drill into this. So I'm gonna build a big return, big corner. Don't matter about them couple of ties. And then I'm gonna run my block work 450 all the way along. Then we we'll have to build a corner at the far end around that fucking kink. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to go right down to end, load some more blocks. So yeah, a bit of a small day. I've got egg cam on in a bit. I'll get back to you later on. Got a brimmer, proper brimmed it today, like, so. See how far this gets me. All right, see you next clip. Yeah, it's fucking half, half 12. <sighs> she fucking rang that front mixer. It's put half a tub in, and they ain't got enough tubs. So I've transferred half a tub that I fucking got into one I've already got. So I use about a tub and half two. And that other brick is hard to get his at the same time because they don't get it in advance quick enough. So there's two of us fighting always for second mix. This is what we've got so far. There's my gobble up there. Bit I like, but right, I'll show you what I've got done so far. Half 12. I just had my snap. I rushed it. It's a fucking nightmare when you're fucking sharing mixers. It's hard going. Right, I'll show you. So I've got that up, full height. It's full height now, I just brick on edge on top of that. Still ain't got me ties, but I'm gonna bang a cup. I'm gonna bang this block work in all the way through. One flat down there and two for normal laid. Two of course normal. And I'm gonna bang a big rack back each side there. I've not got a brick, I've not got my cutter, but I'm gonna just travel corner off at brick. I might snap a few. And then do the same there, big return as well. And that should I've got like three quarters of a tub now. Looking, should be enough to get me to end of day because I'm just corner building. But what a fucking palaver! What a fucking palaver! Jesus, fighting for gobble. Right, see you next. Uh, see you next clip. How come they're not flat? What do you say? How come you had done them ones flat? There's a different level, it steps, the concrete steps in. Spreading from fucking waist high.
fucking, that's a bit fucking gnarly. Yeah, but that makes it too low. Yeah, but Can't you have just put the block that's laid flat more under that? Yeah. <laughs> fucking bog with fucking trousers keep coming down. Smear that wall looks like you pulled down it. Looks like a splashback. Uh, this is where you move back. See, perfect here. See what the fucking block. Why do they need to see your head? You need to see all of me laying it. Why do they? Oh, it's a fucking random train that just pulled off side. They only need to see what you're laying at it, they don't need to fucking see you. Right, I'm need them box now. doing tomorrow just a break yeah. you fart aren't you <laughs> oh 
I'm fucking a bunch of raw eggs. <laughs> I'm being serious how that fucking disgusting there. I shouldn't be able to smell it when we're outside. <laughs> no. Throwing all your dirty laundry on the floor. Oh, it's like a hizzy. All your beer bowls. It's a pretty private job, this. You know, it's like the joiners set this fucker out. All you do is moan, moan, moan. Oh, you fucking motherfucker. So that means you too can. Harry will be on the dishes when we go down. Seeing as he likes everything perfect. Hey Harold. You on the dishes? Fucking you who set this out, the joiner. You avoiding the question? You'll do the pots. He says that till he gets home. <laughs> and then he's oh, I'm not going to oh. It's been a good day, hasn't it? What did you say? It's been a good day. It's been a good day. It's been a good day with you. And you've been with you. It's fucking well, jobs of all like for me today. It just fills them all. These sort of walls, you know, where they're not set out or you've got to build a footing for They just always feel a ball like. The footing part, I swear it's where you lose money. It's been a nice day. 
didn't like the fact I had to knock the fuck out of my corner after I'd done a right job building it. No, 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 I've noticed Thanks like. to my point work as well. Mm. Looked amazing. No? Me knocking the fuck out of it. Remember what the guy told Paul said you need to do better. Who? <laughs> that guy that took your wall over or something thought Paul. Yeah, I need to do better apparently, I'm fucking shy. Rough as fuck. Would you say you're rough? What'd you say? Would you say you're it rough? It used to be rough. Neatened up for you if you want. Let's have some reflection time. Just a house be rough as fuck. Did you? Yeah, that's how you get fast. You and eat. then claim to everyone that you're neat. Yeah, and then just pretend you need. Everyone who knows knows. Is that what it's going to mess up? What is that? Is that what it's going to mess up, your brick on edge? Not really, no. I think it might only be lapped over, you know, 10 mil or something. But... So you close up? When that, if that leans out, what it is, is that's leaned out. And if that one's plot, or if that's leaning back a bit, it makes the wall go like that. Do you get know what I mean? Mm. Have to move, I think. Now. I need them blocks. <laughs> Stop going if you like. Seeing a close up. See how good you are. Oh, oh, close up this fucking line. I'm going to shop, they'll be asking me to take it down. I'll be asking you to use a plastic plate.
Oh, let me fuck you, fuck. Hey guys, Harry here. Welcome to the voiceover part of the video. Uh, so yeah, this is this is the uh, retaining wall. Uh, a little bit different, it's a little bit different. I've not done one of these in uh, a good couple of years. Um, always a nice little, uh, always a nice little job. Um, the ties that go into this are a SD drill, a plug and screw sort of thing. Um, I don't have a cordless SD drill. Uh, I've only got a corded one. Uh, but Gaffer on site supplied me with one uh, in tomorrow's video. So uh, today I was just doing everything up to 450, 500 sort of wise. Um, this particular little section was all all brick, so I could start running this little bit in. Um, but I managed to set out basically the whole wall. I got the footing in as you saw. Um, which was, you know, one block laid flat with two course of four inch. Um, and then obviously at some points it was only four, it was only two course of four inch. Uh, but yeah, it was a little bit of a ball acre of a job, um, because we couldn't really run any meat in today. Uh, but it, it, to be honest, it paid off dividends because I, I got to just get everything set out, everything running through since the concrete that we were running to wasn't perfectly level, uh, you know, wasn't perfectly plumb, wasn't perfectly lined, so you couldn't really tape off of it. Uh, you just had to run a string line and make sure, you know, everything ran through. That's why I was taking now a little bit of a of a rack back I built this morning. It's just a little bit of the few bricks I tailed out weren't running through to the actual line of the wall, so that fixed it, you know, toothing out to, to, to about a four inch length or a brick length, and then that'll ni run nice and plumb and true now. Um, Easy mistake to do, you know, a lot of guys don't think to, to check it with a line, you know, it's a little bit of more hassle uh, to set a corner out with a line, but it always makes sure your corners run through. Uh, here I'm just doing a little bit of pick and dip. Um, if some of the joints look a bit big or some of the bricks look a bit chipped, I was told to just use some of the crappy chip bricks that were left about in the first couple of course that aren't going to be seen. And then I went back to using proper bricks, um, you know. And that, th this is why, as well, you know, with variation in size, if you go to your your uh, your gauge tape, you know, you can sometimes end up with a few big perps. So it's always good to run a couple of course in with a couple of little pyramids, as you see me build here, and then I can alter that corner then and make you know make the perps a little bit bigger on the corner at each side to make you know tighten them perps up in the middle. And by the fourth course, you know, I had nice ten eleven mil perps. Uh, and then when I set my corners up, I can get them even nicer and tighter. Uh, so yeah, tomorrow I'll just be running in basically all day. I didn't set any profiles up. I just didn't think there's any point, you know, when it's just me and Mel and I'm doing a bit of bumping out sometimes, uh, you know, in between her getting gobble and in between her pointing. She just did all the pointing today. Um, 
and uh, got me got me on my gobbo. You know, I don't really see much you know much point for profiles as you see. I don't really get here early enough to set them up in advance of getting my gobbo because it's mixer gobbo. You know, you, you're wasting a bit of time. You know, doing the mix. You know, so profiles don't always make sense. I like doing. You know, I like you know I like me your corners. Obviously, got a new pair of fits bricks off Richard. You know, invaluable pieces of equipment. And I think building corners, uh, you know, like an old bricklayer said to me many, many years ago, you know, your level, you you know, your level's where you make your money. You know, if you're good with your level, that's where you'll make your money because you can't always get a string line on. Everything isn't always, you know, able to, uh, you know, be put a string line on. You can't always get a profile on. If you can quickly knock a corner up nice and quick, and get running in that's where you're going to make your money you know a lot of guys you know they ask you ask them to do a bit of freehand corner building and it's like you know they've never picked up a level in their life and you need this i think it's undersold i think these days as with all that many profiles people are basically saying get a profile on or don't bother whereas if you're quick with your level it doesn't matter what you're building you know you can make money whether you're doing pillars you know running in straight runs whatever you're doing the quicker you are with your level you're going to make money no matter what and uh, I've I've sort of dedicated myself to building corners and level work and like I did a lot of that tile brick on edge for a while I got good at making money on that uh, anything I've done I've sort of tried to get more efficient and master it and um, I'm able to sort of make money no matter what I'm building so even on this retaining wall a little bit narrow a little bit lack of gear access and stuff we still managed to you know make a decent crust on it and uh you know, I, I kind of want to, like you said, for, I think you saw me mention earlier in the, uh, when I was doing the live audio, you know, footings, I, I don't like footings very much. You know, I always feel, find you're bent over, you don't get that much done because of the fact that you're always bent over. You know, when you're bent over, you're at like, you know, especially laying blocks and stuff, you're, you're very slow speed, you're very slow. I've learned a few times on footings that, you know, it, it, you're not always earning good money because you've got to sort of change your mindset. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's just, you know, it's just doggy work. You know, I call it, it's just donkey work. You know, there's no, no neatness to it. You've got to sort of change your mentality towards being neat and just chucking it down. You know, it's different. So I don't like footings for that reason. Uh, I much prefer to build walls, you know, or go on plots. It's just so much easier. You know, everything's at, waist height more or less you know or soon to be at waist height uh, a nice level ground on a scaffold is lovely so um you know uh that's what i prefer uh but yeah it's gonna be a little bit of a short short voiceover tonight you know i was trying to just cut down my because i spend most of my time doing the voiceovers you know it's like an hour two hours to get one right so yeah um well yeah just run four course in here with a pick and dip uh, my pick and dip trial hasn't arrived yet, so I probably won't be using it tomorrow. Uh, but then you'll see me using that in the uh, the ne coming, next videos coming up. Um, I'll get some head cam tomorrow with me running in. Uh, I've got like a four, I think it's I think it's a 45 brick run, I think. Uh, corners all built. And I'll have to bang two corners up, continuing here. Um, but I think I'll get it more or less all to height, and then Friday I'll just put, be putting brick and edge on it all. And I'll show you guys how I just do normal brick on edge. It's pretty pretty simple. Um, just one line on the level on the back. I don't use two lines. I don't I don't really see any point. Um, one line's enough. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed, uh, hit the like button, subscribe for more. <coughs> <coughs> you know, a couple of videos a week, at least. On site, tackling different types of work is a one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Got devastated then I did that. Yeah. Yeah, fucking quarter four. So that's what we got done. Set that rack back down. Well, I just take that few few bricks off the rack back to make sure that line's true. Got that up, block on, all my blocks done. That's all brick. Got that four course on there, that's set out. 
Uh, so yeah, I've got only about a couple hundred brick and hundred block down, so not very good, not a, uh, an amazing day. But considering we've only just got his ties, which over there, you know, we didn't do bad. We didn't do bad. We'll fucking smash it tomorrow. Be a fucking uh, six or seven hundred brick day tomorrow, I reckon. Um, yeah, yeah, I got that to, that corner to build. It's all bricks, so it's a bit easier. Yeah, a bit of messing about. We've got this loaded somewhat. Some loading tomorrow, I'll wait for my gear, probably. So yeah, right, it's uh, four o'clock, I'm off. See you next video.